To people other than a cryptographer, the words code and cipher are interchangeable. There is, however, a very significant difference. The difference is very simple. A code replaces whole words with symbols, while ciphers replace individual letters with other letters or symbols. A cipher will manipulate the letters of a plain text, while a code will manipulate the whole words. Of course, ciphers tend to be much more effective. If you had to replace whole words by a symbol, you would need a lot of symbols. Whereas if you needed to replace individual letters, you would need approximately 26 symbols. So to simplify this, we note that a code is not the same as a cipher. A code is a system that substitutes one word or phrase for another. Codes are intended to provide secrecy and or efficiency. A cipher, on the other hand, is a system that uses mathematical algorithms to encrypt and decrypt messages. There are two ways ciphers process messages. The first way is stream ciphers. Stream ciphers operate on one character or bit of message at a time. Stream ciphers convert one symbol of plain text directly into a symbol of ciphertext. The other method is block ciphers. Block ciphers operate on large segments of the message at the same time. Block ciphers encrypt a group of plain text symbols as one block. Let's consider the advantages and disadvantages of stream ciphers. One of the advantages is the speed of transformation. Algorithms are linear in time and constant in space. Another advantage is the fact that it has low error propagation. An error in encrypting one symbol likely will not affect subsequent symbols. Low diffusion is one possible disadvantage. All the information of a plain text symbol is contained in a single ciphertext symbol. Another disadvantage is susceptibility to insertions or modifications. An active interceptor who breaks the algorithm might insert spurious text that looks authentic. Now let's consider the pros and cons of block ciphers. An advantage is high diffusion. Information from one plain text symbol is diffused into several ciphertext symbols. Another advantage is immunity to tampering. It's difficult to insert symbols without detection. One of the disadvantages with block cipher is the slowness of encryption. An entire block must be accumulated before encryption or decryption can begin. The other disadvantage is error propagation. An error in one symbol may corrupt the entire block. Substitution and transposition ciphers are two categories of ciphers used in classical cryptography. Substitution and transposition differ in how chunks of the message are handled by the encryption process. Substitution ciphers encrypt plain text by changing the plain text one piece at a time. Transposition ciphers encrypt plain text by moving small pieces of the message around. Anagrams, for example, are a primitive transposition cipher. 